We often sacrifice a lot for others. We adore and care dearly for them, but they occasionally let us down. They take advantage of our generosity. They are wonderful when they need us. But once they obtain what they want, they disappear as soon as a bird takes off. But how can you turn things around and take charge? Simply avoid these nine actions and you will notice a significant difference. 1. Don't ruin your life by being too obsessed with someone. Don't make your life all about them like a satellite stuck circling around. Focusing too much on someone else makes you lose sight of your own future. Your dreams and uniqueness start to disappear and you just worry about what they need and want. It's like giving all your water to someone else when you're the one who's thirsty. Marcus Aurelius once said, If you are at peace with yourself, you are at peace with the world. Focusing too much on someone throws off your balance. You end up just a shadow living by their rules. You lose sight of your own worth. Get away from their control. Stop being just a moon to their planet. Start shining like your own sun and light your own way. Your life isn't just a side role in someone else's story. You're the star of your own life. Always remember that and don't let anyone dull your shine. 2. Don't change your life just to match someone else's. It's like wearing shoes that are too tight. It hurts and isn't needed. Every step you take to follow them takes you off your own path. You lose your own speed and forget your own goals. Like Seneca said, trying to be in too many places means you're really nowhere. When you always try to match others' expectations, you lose yourself. So switch it up. Stop blending in like a rainbow. It's time to be proud of your own colors. Don't shape your life for others. It's time to walk your own path. Just be you. Your life isn't about compromises. You're here to write your own great story, not someone else's. 3. Don't push away your friends or family for someone else. Avoid staying distant from them because of your obsession with someone. It's like chopping off parts of the tree that supports you. Each friend and family member is like a branch that has always supported you. If you start pushing them away, you're not just losing friends, you're breaking down your support network. Plato said, people are like soil. They can either help you grow or stop your growth and cause you to wither. When you separate yourself from your loved ones for someone else's approval, you're choosing a hard path. Reconnect with those important people. Look after your network of support. Your friends and family are unique. They're your base, your support system. Stay close to those who have always supported you. 4. Don't let anything harm your mental health or happiness. Hurting your own mental health and happiness for someone else is like burning your house down to keep them warm. It's harmful and makes no sense. When you ignore your own health to please someone else, you're giving them control over your happiness. You end up trying to make them happy while you're sad. Step back and reclaim control. Your mental health and happiness are too important to compromise. They're not things to be traded away. Stop sacrificing yourself in someone else's story. Be the main character in yours. Protect your peace and happiness fiercely. Strengthen your mental toughness. Don't let anyone take your joy. You're in charge of your own mind, not someone to be walked over. 5. Don't waste so much time on them. Don't give all your time to someone, as if they can never have enough. It's like throwing your time into a void. Every minute you spend too focused on them is a minute of your life gone forever. Time is your most valuable thing. It's not something to gamble in someone else's game of demands. Seneca once said, It's not that our lives are short, but that we waste too much of it. Putting all your time into someone else means you're losing the best parts of your life. Take back your time. It belongs to you, not them. Don't make them everything in your life. Find a good balance. Use your time smartly. Value it and spend it on things that make you happy, help you grow and satisfy you. Remember, you control your own time. Don't waste it on someone who may not appreciate any of it. 6. Don't agree to do something just to make them happy if you don't enjoy it. It's like putting on a mask that makes it hard to breathe just to make someone else feel good. When you say yes to things you dislike, you're not only ignoring what you like, you're being untrue to yourself. It's like covering up your favorite colors with ones you don't like. Albert Camus once said, To be truly happy, don't worry too much about others. When you start doing things because someone forces you not, not because you want to, you begin to feel bitter and lose self-respect. So, take off that mask. Don't just say yes all the time. Learn to say no to things you dislike. 
Your life isn't a play where you act to please others. Be real, be honest with yourself. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Live your life your way, not as someone else wants. Remember, you're the main character in your life, not just a side character in someone else's. 7. Don't share everything about your past, especially your hardest times. Sharing all your past with someone is like showing them every secret and challenge you faced. Your past, especially the tough parts, is personal. It's your own story that helped you grow through tough times. It's not something to share for others to enjoy or judge. Friedrich Nietzsche said, When we're weak, old ideas we've beaten come back to challenge us. Talking about all your past secrets means you're facing old problems again. Now you're open to being hurt or used. Keep your secrets safe inside you, not everyone should know them. Share only what you need to, but protect the main parts of your story. It's what makes you strong and protects you. Don't give away your protection to someone else. Be careful who you trust. Your life story is yours alone. It's not for others to enjoy just for fun. 8. Don't let fear of being alone drive your choices. Making decisions out of fear, especially the fear of being alone, is like walking in the dark with no direction. When you make choices because you're scared of being by yourself, you might end up in places you never wanted to be. It's important to remember that being alone is not the same as being lonely. Aristotle once said, Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Spend time, understanding and appreciating your own company. This way when you do choose to be with someone it's because they add value to your life not because you're afraid to be without them. Value your own company and don't let fear make your decisions for you. 9. Don't forget to celebrate your achievements even if they seem small. Often we get so caught up in trying to please others or meet their expectations that we forget to recognize our own successes. Every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory and should be celebrated. Epictetus taught that we should not just seek to be admired by others, but to admire ourselves. Take time to appreciate your own efforts and achievements. Celebrating your progress helps build self-confidence and reinforces the importance of your personal journey. Your accomplishments are yours alone and they deserve recognition. Remember, your life is not just about reaching a destination. It's about appreciating the journey and acknowledging your own hard work along the way. From a Stoic perspective, it's vital to remember the power of your own choices and the importance of living in harmony with your true nature. Stoics like Epictetus taught that our happiness and peace come from within, not from external circumstances or other people's approval. You have the strength and wisdom to make decisions that are right for you, even if they don't align with someone else's desires. As you navigate life, Focus on cultivating your own virtues like wisdom, courage, justice and self-control. These are the true markers of a fulfilling life, not how well you conform to someone else's expectations or desires. Remember, you have the freedom to choose your path to embrace your uniqueness and to write your own story, grounded in your values and beliefs. You don't need to compromise your integrity or sacrifice your well-being for others instead. Take ownership of your life making choices that ref your true self. The Stoics believed that true freedom comes from within, from an understanding that our thoughts and actions are up to us. So when you feel pressured to conform, to give up your time or to share more than you're comfortable with, remember that you have the power to choose differently. You are not obligated to live according to someone else's script. You have the right to create your own based on what's truly important to you. It's time to make a change. Begin right away, decide and pledge to stop doing these things, and work towards being the best you can be, no matter what.